Creator is a great app you can use for creating digital books. To start, you hit the plus sign and hit New Book. You can choose the size of your book shape. This plus sign right here lets you add photos, use your camera, use a pen, add text, or add sound. I'm going to add some photos. I'm going to write a book about my dog, Zephyr. I can change the size of the picture by dragging the corners. I might even add some drawings into it, maybe some hearts. I can change the color up here by tapping it. And I can hit done. I can actually move my drawing and manipulate it and make it smaller too. I'm going to type the title of my book, Zephyr by Ashley. I can move the text right here and make it larger or smaller. And what's cool is I can even add sound and record. Zephyr by Ashley. You can hit yes when you're recording, when you're done recording. And you just move your sound button to wherever you would like it to be on your screen. And I'd like it there. To add your next page, you're gonna hit the arrow to the side. And now you're on page two. For page two, I might add in something that I used um, when making a poplet. So these are words to describe my dog. I'm going to hit the plus sign, add text, and I'm going to type, these are words that describe Zephyr, period. And I'm going to make that all be one line. I'm going to put it there. I'll add my recording. These are words that describe Zephyr. Goofy, energetic, happy. Hit yes. And you can move your sound button to anywhere you want on the screen. Now to take a look at the pages you've done, you're going to click on pages. And it shows all the pages you've done. Let's say that I didn't want this page. I'm going to hit edit, click, and then I'm going to delete it. I could also copy a page and make it multiple times. I'm going to hit delete for that. I can also preview my book by hitting play at any time. If I want it to read to me, I'm going to hit read to me. If you hit read to me, it's going to highlight the text and read it on its own without you recording. However, if you just want to look at it on your own, you can click the, click the screen and hit the play button. And you can turn the pages on your own and hit the sound button. When you're done, you can hit done and go back to my books and it will save right here. If you want to export it, you're going to hit the square with the arrow and you can export it as a video, a PDF, or an EPUB. I'm going to do video because I want the sound to be shown. I'm going to save it to my iPad and it should be on camera roll now.